Most of us don't have a pretty office or a studio to shoot our content in, so using a backdrop is our next best option. In this video, we're going to explain how to use the most common type of background, seamless paper backdrops. Stay until the end of the video if you want to know how to set up, maintain, and store your paper rolls to get the most out of them. You probably noticed there's more than just one type of backdrop you can buy out there. You can choose between muslin, paper, or pop-up backdrop to name just a few. If you're interested in a comparison between different backdrop types, you can check out one of the videos that we have linked here. With so many options available, why choose paper? The good thing about paper backdrops is that they are crease-free and seamless, making for a professional-looking backdrop. Unlike muslin backdrops, there's no need to iron or clean them as you can just cut off the part that is wrinkled or dirty. They're very versatile. There's a variety of colors to suit every skin tone and every object, and they're available in different sizes as well. If you're interested to see the color and size options we offer, head over to hypop.com.au. There are many ways to set up a backdrop. For example, you can use backdrop stands with a crossbar, C-stands, T-stands, a wall-mount system, or simply tape them to the wall. If you're interested in a comparison between different kinds of backdrop stands, check out our backdrop stands buying guide here. Whatever backdrop stand you end up using, if you have the space, make sure to roll out the amount of paper you will need for your shoot before raising your uprights. This will save you a headache and a ladder climb. If you're doing this by yourself, however, raise the bar first and then pull down the paper roll. Also, don't forget to secure the backdrop with a spring clamp or two, or else they will continue to unravel. Make it a habit to attach the clamps to your crossbar before you unravel the seamless. I can't tell you how many times we unraveled the seamless paper and then had to run to get a clamp before the paper roll unraveled completely. To hold down the paper end, you can use tape, sandbags, or anything heavy, really. Just make sure you secure the ends to avoid trip falls. If you enjoyed this video so far, give it a like and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be updated of any new content re release. And now I explain how to make your paper rolls last longer. The good thing about paper backdrops is that you can simply cut the end once it's dirty or worn out. But if you want to keep your paper roll clean for as long as possible, consider using clean shoes or shoe covers before standing on the paper roll. To ensure the paper roll stays wrinkle-free, it's crucial that you use your paper roll only on clean, straight, hard surfaces. Eventually, however, the paper roll will get worn out and dirty. To cut the paper off, it's best to use a utility knife as it will make a clean cut, unlike scissors. Another tip to keep your paper roll intact is to avoid using duct tape for holding down the ends. It will destroy your backdrop when trying to remove the tape and leave adhesive residue. We like to use gaffer tape or masking tape if sandbags are not available. Once you're done shooting, don't leave your paper roll hanging. You want to store them vertically. If you saw them hanging or even laying down, the cardboard cores will eventually begin to sag in the middle and then the paper buckles and becomes uneven. Your best option would be to invest into a storage rack for your paper roll. If that's not an option, you can also lean them against a wall. That way, they're vertical at least. You want to store them in dry spaces as paper stored in humid conditions will absorb moisture from the air, which can form wrinkles and ripples. How do you store your paper rolls? Let us know in the comments, and if you want to see a few examples of how we are using our paper rolls, feel free to check out our socials. Links are down below. Thanks for watching!